Hello lovely people. So I just wanted to show you guys a update on the updated Peloton app so you can see some of the new features that they have. I will be doing a updated bike video next month so I can just show you um, some of the things that I've added to my bike and what I'm using for my bike, what I'm no longer using for my bike, so on and so forth. Um, I do have the Sunny Health and Fitness bike. I do not have the actual Peloton yet, um, but this is just so people who are pretty much like me that either don't want to spend that much money or can't afford to spend that much money on the actual Peloton bike so you guys can have a cheaper option. And I'll give you all the specs and everything for the bike in the new video. Um, we're just going to get started with the Peloton app. So this little red right there, that's the app. So you just click on it. And of course the logo screen comes up first. And then it opens up to your classes page. Um, so down here, you're going to see the different things that they have. So you're going to have featured there, classes, schedule, profile, and more. Um, if you watch the last video that I made, the layout of it is pretty much still the same. That part didn't change. They just added different class types. So now you have cycling, running, outdoor running, which is just audio. So if you run outside, it is a good idea to put this on your phone or whatever device that you have that you take running with you. And that way you'll be able to listen to the audio while you're running. You have strength training, yoga, meditation, boot camp, walking, stretching, and cardio. So one of the things that has changed is up here at the top, you have classes, programs, and collections. So if you click programs, that's going to take you to the different types of programs that they have available right now. So these programs are like, for example, if you want to run a 5k, they have a six week program to help you train to learn to ride, run a 5k. You have your power zones that is cycling. So it's something where, um, you know, you're trying to push hard, you know, doing it's a lot of endurance and things like that for your power zones. Um, then you have your strength here. So your strength training, that's going to be your boot camps. Okay, your uh, boot camp here, that's a different type of boot camp. Um, this one most likely is going to be more of like weights and things like that. Boot camp is going to be a mixture of the two. Then you have Tabata. Um, your Tabata cycling rides or a Tabata workout period is when you have a two to one ratio. So that means you'll be, for example, putting in effort or work for a full 60 seconds and then you'll rest for 30 seconds. So it's always going to be a full on, half off, and then you'll do it all over again. So as you see, they have different programs that you can go ahead and go through if that's something that you want to do. And then in your collections, they have the different popular um, type of things that they rides and boot camps and things that they do in Peloton. So feel good rides. That's something that Allie does that is quite popular. Um, then here you have the Peloton pick. So those are going to be popular Peloton cycling, popular Peloton running. And then you have here your body weight strength training. So that's a collection of just boot camp and strength training exercises that is purely body weight. So if you don't have any dumbbells and things, you don't need it. It's fine. They have it. Then here you have your sing-along classes, special events. So your special events is going to be the things that they do throughout the year. So it's going to be things like the All for One ride, which they did that for the 4th of July. Um, here you have the rides that um, Robin did for the Olympics. Then every time the instructors hit a milestone ride they will do a special ride for them so just hit her 1000 um, emma dennis um they both hit their 100th and then here you have christine she hit her thousand as well cody's down there he hit his thousand also 
Then for holidays, here you have your turkey burns, you know, going on for that. So those are your special additions. Here you have more special. So you see each one of them, they have like themed rides that they are pretty popular for doing. So like Jess, her ride of shame, Alex has his club bangers, so on and so forth. Um, so that's pretty much all that's in there. I mean, like you can take a one of these rides if you want, or you can just go off of a program. So if you wanted to do the 5K, the 5K is six weeks, and it shows you as soon as you click on it who all the instructors are that you may be running with. Then you go down to click program, and it gives you your runs that you're going to do every day for those six weeks. That simple. And then by the time you reach the end, you should be able to run a 5K. That's the point of the program. So you go back to your classes. Your classes, like I said, this is pretty much the same from the last video that I made, except you have more options now. So even if you wanted to do boot camp, it's the same thing. You click on your boot camp, you scroll through, you find which boot camp you want to do, you click on it. Uh, my internet's moving a little slow right now. There we go. So when you um, open it up, it's going to tell you what all you're going to need. So you need your heavy weights, your medium weights, and a mat. It also now tells you what music will be played. So just in case you hear something that you like, they have it in here. So you can go ahead and go download it. And it gives you a class plan. So it tells you how long your workout is. shows you're going to be doing some running full body, running, full body. So this is something good to look at because if you're someone like me who does not have a treadmill, the running part would be a problem. I wouldn't be able to do the running. But they do have some of them that is just floor work and just weight so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you do not have to have the Peloton tread to do the running part. You can just have any old treadmill and get the running part done. But that's pretty much all that is. And now up here at the top, so you can navigate a little bit faster through, they have all of your options up here. So cycling, running, outdoor strength, yoga, meditation, boot camp, walking, stretching, and cardio. So everything is up there at the top now. So you can just navigate through a whole lot faster to pick what it is that you want to do. You still down here have your filter option. So you can still filter by genre, instructor, class type, the length. Um, if you bookmark some classes, you can click on the bookmark, so on and so forth. So pretty much most of that is still the same. They just now have more classes and more options for you when it comes to it. This app is only... Um, $12.99 before taxes. I do have Apple products and Apple does charge taxes. So after taxes, it comes out to $13.95, I believe. So it's basically $14. You get 24-7 access to a bunch of different workouts. So you can follow any of these programs or if it's just something where you want to do it on your own, you can do that as well. Um, cause that's like last month I set a goal to do all of Allie loves Caribbean rides. So I took all of her Caribbean rides every day. I would take a Caribbean ride. Um, that was just something that I wanted to do. So if you like Tabata or if you like country, whatever, you can just pick whichever one it is that you want to do and go from there. And so on the featured page, which is what I clicked on. Up here at the top, it's still going to show you the live ride that's about to start. Well, this one has already started, so I'm going to show you the live ride, which I'll click on it so you guys can see um, pretty much what that is. It shows you how far they're into the class with the little time lapse option there. And so once you click your join the class, it takes you right into the live class. And one of the new things that they do have is this over here. So now you can see who all is taking this ride with you. There is a total of 300 and well now 359 people that are taking the class. So if you click on this one right there, the little man, it's just going to show you everyone that's in the class. 
if you click on the thing that looks like a little piece of paper it's going to show you milestones so people who like this person here hit, hit a 20 day streak so to show you that and you also now have the option to do high fives so if i wanted to high five this person because they hit their 20 day streak i just click on her picture boom i've given her a high five good job you have hit your um your 20 day streak you've hit a new milestone so there as you see more people are popping up because it's showing their milestone like this person is their first ride three day streak 20 day streak three day streak first ride um also if anyone gives you a high five or high fives you back it's going to show up in this feed as well but that's pretty much all that is okay and then this little thing right here you click that and it's now since it is you do have the cadence tracker option it's going to show you your heart rate monitor as well as a cadence tracker so i no longer have a heart rate monitor or a chest strap now i do have the apple watch the apple watch is not compatible to the peloton app so you would need a chest strap but i don't have one right now so you can hook a chest strap or you can hook the cadence to it i'm not on my bike so of course it says not connected right now um, and just to show you about the high five back if you look right here it says she's giving me a high five back so you know i do think that option is pretty cool and then up here it just shows you like the warm-up and everything and as you see i just swiped it to get rid of it so if you don't want to see any of this if you don't care about any of this swipe it over you don't have to deal with it okay and so this is just showing you your time if you don't want to deal with it you just click it and get rid of it so um, you always have those options and whenever you're ready to quit you just hit end it's going to make sure that you're for sure that you want to end it hit end and go on about your business so when you get to this page it will show you um, details about your ride so it's going to show you here that um, well I'm not actually hooked to a heart rate monitor but it kind of gives you a like a guesstimation of how many calories that you burned so it is a nine calories and then if you click on it it's going to let you see the details of the ride again okay but since I didn't take the ride I'm going to go ahead and delete that so it doesn't show that I did it but like you have these rides here um, these are ones that I've already done. And so just to show you about the cadence tracker, okay, when you pull it up, if it'll come up, it's going to show you the details for that ride. So up here, you're going to have the name of it, how many calories that Peloton says I burn, because of course I don't have the chest strap. It's going to show you the achievement right there. Three of the people that I follow took the ride, so it gave me a pack. Um, achievement and then down here you have your cadence okay so it shows like how fast or how slow I was pedaling it's going to show my best was a 12 I mean 112 and then my average was a 79 for the ride so it just helps you do that if I had a heart rate monitor under it it would have the heart rate as well as well as a more accurate calorie count since I don't have it Oh well but yeah so that's pretty much it for that and then your page everything else is still the same the only difference is now they have the yoga boot camp and all that there so it'll give you your total workouts and then it still shows you individual um, genres of workouts so you can see how many yoga you did and how many stretching so on and so forth but that's pretty much it for the update with the Peloton app. Um, I love it. It's very cheap <laughs> and you can get amazing workouts for it. You can take it anywhere with you. So I've seen people actually take this to the gym and they've done workouts at a gym with this app. So you can always do that. I've seen people on the treadmill with it. I've seen people on cycling bikes with it at the gym. So it just depends on what all you want. Whatever you want to do, that's pretty great. Okay, so if you have any questions about the app, 
leave a comment down below and I'll answer as best as I can. Um, stay tuned next month because I will be doing a updated video showing you guys my bike. Next month will make a year that I've had the Sunny Health and Fitness bike. So I will tell you guys any problems that I've had with it, what's going on, so on and so forth. So if it's something that you guys are looking into purchasing, you will have that option. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.